I'm at the edge of the arena here in Leipzig for the first day of the 33rd Rolex FEI World Cup jumping final. I've been joined by my co-commentator Steve Hadley. Steve, we're here to cover some very, very good international sport in the next few days. Tell us what some of the stories are from the stables. Well, it's not so much stories from the stables, it's actually five days of five rounds overall of very, very gruelling show jumping. We've had some fantastic qualifiers through the winter. This is the absolute pinnacle in the world. It's everybody's dream to be here. Uh, but they've got to be very well mounted. You know, for a horse to go through five days and aesthetically jump five clear rounds, never have a fence down, which to win it, that's pretty well what they're going to have to do. Well, you say a horse, but of course some riders have two horses. Not all, but some. I mean, last year, Marcus Zenning won his third crown with two. That's a factor, is it? It's a big factor. It depends really on today's performances a lot, because if you've got a horse today, I mean, they call this the speed and handiness. It's not really a speed class. I mean, it's going to be a big track. You need a scopey horse, and you need a very competitive one. But you also need a horse that is going to last for five, day, five rounds over the three days, the three legs, uh, and it gets bigger and bigger. And you've got to have a horse, really, that fires on all cylinders from day one. Some riders, like Marcus Henning, he won it on two horses last year. You take, for example, Meredith Michaels this year. She rides the incomparable Shutterfly. He's 18 now. She wasn't going to bring him. She was going to rely entirely on uh, Checkmate. But now she rides Shutterfly today because, you know, she can't think possibly that he's going to go through the whole three legs. So she's going to use him today, get a good position, because it's no good finishing 39th today. You're not going to win it if you finish down the bottom end. And what about a horse like the current Olympic champion, Hickston? Eric Lamaze just has Hickston in this competition. How do you think he'll cope? You know, it's, uh, it's a no-brainer to, to say, well, which one would you pick if you, if you had to pick one horse? But, of course, you'd pick him. I mean, he's arguably the best horse in the world at the moment. He's proved that. His record goes you know, without saying. He's 15 years of age now, but he runs on pure adrenaline. He's one of the most talented, freaky horses I've ever seen. And he could really, you never get to the bottom of him, he could go five days. He could also jump every round clear, and he could go the gallop in the speed today. I mean, I would bank on, odds on, that he will be in the first seven or eight today. He might even win it. Now, one of the most consistent riders through the... We've been covering, of course, all the Western European um, competitions building up to this weekend. And one of the most consistent riders is Billy Toomey for Ireland. He hasn't won a qualifier, but he's always been up there. And I understand he's just riding one horse today, isn't he? I just spoke to him a few minutes ago. You were there. Um, he's only riding Tinker Serenade because he thinks she's quick enough to get well-placed today. She's also got the scope to go through the three days to jump the very big tracks. And also, she's a mare, again, that really is high-quality, a buzzy sort of a mare that's got the energy to get through the whole, the whole trip. Now, of course, we've got nations. We've got 21 nations. We've got all over the world. We've got the likes of um, uh, Abdullah Al Shabatli. He was second in the World Equestrian Games on Saldano. How do you think he'll do? I think he's got a, a very good chance. His worst day, his most difficult day, is today, because it's against the clock and he's going to be taking on horses like Hickstead and like speed merchants and she's not a speed horse but she's got all the jump in the world but he needs if, he, if he's going to be in the shake up on the final day he needs a sort of top 10 top 15 placing today you take another guy I mean we, we haven't spoken about the Americans yet the USA um, they've got some tremendous horses they've got a different league to us we haven't been seeing them through the winter I just spoke to McLean Ward he's using Rothschild today but he's using his very good grey horse the next two days he thinks he's just a horse today can go the gallop and get him off to a good start and there'll be a few like him you know it's all down to horsepower it is and down to consistency it's got to be you've got to be consistent over yeah. the whole you can't yeah. get away you just yeah. say with a, a low place at any stage not at all no that's uh, no prisoners taken here no well join us for live coverage of the first round the speed class for the rolex fei world cup jumping final that's going to be shown live on fei tv at 15:10 central european summer time